tell you that's kind of fun. So, what we're talking about today, we have the Ultradyne Compensator. This is the Apollo Max 556, and we also have their C4 sights. So guys, if you are like me and have been banned from Facebook, I lost several pages. I get strikes from Instagram posts from 10 years ago and demonetized on YouTube. You'll like our new sponsor, and that is armsdirectory.com. That's right, we finally have our own Pro 2A social media slash marketplace. Wink, wink, you know what that means. So go check them out, armsdirectory.com. I've been on it for a few weeks. Find me, follow me, and let's talk some gun stuff, all right? Now, let's get on with the video. You know if you've been following the channel, I've been having fun with some special muzzle brakes and compensators lately, and this is the latest one. This is the Ultradyne Apollo Max 556. They have like over a dozen different types of compensators, and so if you think this one's too big, you can go find you one that's a little more compact. But as far as effectiveness, they claim to have well, some of the most effective brakes, and after looking at their designs and how much they put into R&D, I'm, I'm prone to agree because uh, never have I had a compensator before ask you to check th uh, your concentric concentric consent con concentric to make sure it was concentric to bore <laughs> because suppressors do if you have a suppressor they want to make sure you don't have a baffle strike right and they're like yeah, that's always a thing but these uh this is the first time a, a compensator has said that and i think it's because they probably made that bore size a little smaller so whereas other manufacturers are yeah yeah it's a compensator make it like 30 cal in case anybody sends you know if, if the threading's off these guys tell you to double check that because uh, I, I suppose the tolerances are so tight now mounting is easy and I love it when they mount it easy with just a jam nut. You actually have a collar here that it's almost seamless, but they make a front sight that say you didn't want it to take up your rail space, maybe your rail was shorter and you just wanted a longer sight radius. Instead of this collar right here, they have a, uh, a front sight that will mount on it and give you maximum sight radius. But with just these two nuts, if I do the threading right, I did, it's still warm from shooting earlier, but it's warm like a a suppressor uh, so you can uh, put, put a site where that collar is but my main point is it's as easy as just boom now we're now we're timed and ready to go again at least it's time to I'll double check it later so what we're gonna do is just do a couple of tests I can tell you oh it, it shoots great and fast but I tell you it's effective you can see the smoke and the gases come back you can definitely feel it as a shooter but I like bringing my kids out here that aren't as experienced and don't have as much recoil management into their shooting uh, stance as I do. Uh, I can shoot it one-handed and that's a good way to tell but we're gonna put it on the high-speed camera because the high-speed camera tells no lies. We're gonna go with and without it and just see what we get. All right so Tiny Sniper here is gonna do the baseline test. No muzzle device, high-speed camera rolling. Yeah put five rounds in the center mass. See what we got. Remember your safety. Okay. Deal. So now with the Ultradyne Apollo Max Comp, go ahead and charge it. Okay, get on target. We'll make sure you're framed up. All good. All right, five rounds when you're ready. <laughs> I tell you, it makes me blink every time because it catches that cloud of gas. <laughs> we'll see what it looks like. The gas is just so just uh, it, it, there's like an instant cloud from the muzzle to the action that's just all just pretty neat and then but that ejection pattern those brass coming directly towards the camera is right at a three o'clock angle is pretty good all right we'll put them side by side and that's where the real comparison is So as we edited this together, what you'll find is uh, we made it sync so you could see the shots at the same time. Whereas in real time, the muzzle device always allows for faster follow-up shots. Now we're gonna put a white line here to show the point of aim, but then we'll see a red line for the muzzle flip of the non-compensated, and the purple line is the muzzle flip for with the compensator on it. So it's about half the muzzle flip as you see those gases redirect backwards 
backwards, you see he really gets back faster on target in real time with the compensated rifle. So from a shooter's perspective, I have to do side-by-side -side comparison and, you know, uh, aiming and shooting is one, but usually I need a timer or something to, to uh, and that's why we use Tiny Sniper with the high speed. But I like to do it kind of pistol style, because if I do it pistol style, it takes my body out of the equation and then I can just feel the recoil better. So it bucks up quite a bit. Now we do it with the compensator. Oh, did you see that? Now with the comp. I can definitely tell a difference because I'm actually trying to aim and I have nothing behind the butt stock. So everything is just, it, it almost seemed like the front dipped down a little. So, but, but, but before without the compensator, I mean, it's raising high. It's like it's it's staying in the, the, the box. It's staying in the kill zone box as I'm aiming. Now for the sake of time here, we're starting off at round two, which is why the top muzzle device one was a little faster already. And while it felt when I was shooting it that the muzzle device one actually dipped a little, it didn't physically dip down. It was just that sensation because you know it was doing its job. And you can see it's doing its job just on the muzzle flip graph here. Our red line is pretty much twice as wide as the, as the flip than the with the compensated. But I like doing it one-handed just to take my shoulder out of the equation and see more raw data. In a second, we're gonna check it out on AK-47 and also full auto. But I wanted to just uh, tell you about the sights real quick because they're neat. They're not like your regular sights. Okay, here's regular sights where for an AR, you would have your peep sight in the back and you have your front sight and you're gonna find it. You're gonna even it where it's centered across everything and then put cut your target in half, right? That's how you're gonna do that. But it obscures a lot of your target. What they did is you have dual aperture sights. So of course you have your aperture in this uh, on the rear sight we're gonna be peeping through, but then your front sight is also an aperture. So our sight picture is going to be a circle within a circle, and then we just frame our target with it. So that's what's so cool about it. You're not occluding any of your target. And in fact, they make it so that when you adjust your front sight, your little wings on the outside here also adjust with that front sight. So it's always centered. So you have uh, a centered circle in a circle in a circle in a circle. So there's a bunch of circle in circles, but it makes you super accurate. They also, uh, there's a difference I think between the C2 and the C4. The C2 doesn't have an elevation adjustment marked with, uh, with yardage, but for M193 ammo, your 55 grain 556, we can zero at 200 and then we go up to 600 yards just by cranking it. So that's what's neat here. And you have uh, extra apertures that you can put inside here. And of course you can just use them for backup sites as well. So pretty neat little system. More precise than a red dot even, because if you think about it, a red dot will obscure your target completely. We've got the Ultradyne Vostok brake to put on this AK. This is a PSAK, and the biggest complaint I had was just the cheek weld. It just comes from the AK design and the piston slap. I was told a good brake will take care of that, so we're gonna try that, but first, no brake. Carl likes to shoot the AK, so we're letting him have the honors today. He doesn't know how to load it, though. Oh, never mind. He plays enough Call of Duty. Darn right. <laughs> All right, give me five rounds. There is a difference on how the AK mount uh, will mount, of course, backwards threads, but there's a crush washer instead of uh, a, a, a jam nut. So I'll get a wrench and time that, and we're good to go. Five more. So with our AK test, the white gas cloud that you see out of the compensator obviously shows that it's doing something. And then when we put our line of sight versus our muzzle flip degree lines right here, you can see the red line with no comp is about twice the angle as the purple. And the follow-up shots were always quicker with all three of us shooters always with that compensator on and the most important bit of information was the elimination of the piston slap was it any better with the brake oh yeah i mean what, what about the piston slap i didn't feel it you didn't feel it i don't believe him i want to shoot it 
That's pretty much all that is. I haven't got to do it yet. <laughs> There's no piston slap now. That's cool. It makes it a lot more pleasurable because I didn't like that piston slap the last time. See if I can hit that 100 yarder. Cool deal, cool deal. He started saying this off camera. I'm like, no, you need to say that on camera. So you really did feel the piston slap earlier. The, the cheek sting? Yeah. And, and, then, and then what'd you say? Cause I already forgot. I said, I didn't know that something so simple that you could put on the end of your barrel can make that much a difference. That's kind of cool. That's kind of neat. I, I'm, I'm, it's going to stay there, that's for sure. So honestly, I don't know if muzzle brakes help too much for full auto because full auto is all over the place anyway. It definitely helps in follow-up shots, you know, when you're aiming and can get back on target. But it doesn't mean we're not going to have some fun with it. So that target has all the rounds in center mass. I'm going to see if I can keep it that way or if I'm just going to embarrass myself on this video. I'm gonna embarrass myself on this video, but I had fun! <laughs> it, went up, it walked a little to the left on me. <laughs> but but uh, but flat it was. We didn't we didn't give this a practice run. So I walked a bit to the left. You walk to the left for one or two seconds, you're off you're off target. So oopsie there. That's interesting. I bet if I trained and got used to it because muzzle brakes okay what's your normal recoil it's gonna push you back and to the right a little bit right so without this i should have gone to the right but it actually went to the left probably i was pulling and compensating too much with my arm but that's interesting it didn't go up at all it didn't go to the right at all which is your natural recoil impulse just just food for thought there's like no movement you see the shower of brass I should have brought a bigger mag. And you see this gas just flame on. The whole thing just whites out with gas. But, I mean, like as in recoil impulse movement, you, you, you just see, a, you just see a, um, a fluid movement overall. Just a little chugga 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 there. That's kind of cool. Here we go. So I had to try it a second time and I only got eight rounds out, but look at the nice fluid, like just, just a roll and all these are in. This one was, these two were already in target from messing around earlier, but uh, that was better. That was better with a little bit of practice, one mag of practice, which is what, like $80 these days? So there you have it guys, some pretty neat brakes from Ultradyne and a lot, a lot to choose from. There, like I said earlier, there's a whole dozen of them. You can find out at ultradyneusa.com. Uh, I mean, for me, just seeing that gas and that high-speed footage, that always sells me on stuff like this. Oh, and check out their site. It's pretty cool, too. Ultradineusa.com. Uh, if you can't spell it, I can't either, so I'll put it on my website. Go over to TopShotDustin.com. Remember to like and subscribe to all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Did you see that? Come on, Nasser! Come on, Nasser! Yeah. I came in like a wrecking 